The Edith Cavill Building it was established and built and opened in 1922, uh, really to satisfy two in independent influences. The first was the great need for nursing accommodation for what was then the Hospital for Sick Children in Brisbane. The second influence which led to the establishment and building and ultimate naming of this very special heritage building uh, was a need to memorialise the life and service of nurse Edith Cavill. She was a Norwich based nurse. Uh, she went as a governess to Belgium when she was aged 25 and much later at the age of 30 came back to the London Hospital where she entered the nursing profession. She was then appointed as the first matron of the Birkendaal Institute in Brussels. And it was there when Germany invaded Belgium that she set up the Red Cross Hospital in that institute. And the world knows her story. She was executed by a German fi firing squad and there was an outpouring of revulsion throughout the Western world and a need to memorialise her life and service. When the Edith Cavill building was first built, nursing life was very difficult. The nurses worked for six and a half days every week and they were under very strict disciplinary rules in a very hierarchical sy system. The nurses lived here compulsorily when, when they were working at the hospitals until the 1970s and they were able to stay on discretionarily until the 1980s. And the building then became available for other occupants. When the University of Queensland occupied the building here, it became uh, the executive centre for the Faculty of Medicine. And it was in this building that the executive deans of the faculty administered what became Australia's largest medical school. The Royal Children's Hospital closed in November 2014 and at that time the Edith Cavill building was empty. The nurses quarters had become run down but it was realised that the precious buildings on the Hurston healthcare site and specifically the Edith Cavill building were in great need of preservation and refurbishment. Australian Unity won the contract in 2017 to refurbish the building to restore it as the very important heritage icon that it has become today. The architecture of the Edith Cavill building is very special. It was built at a time when the architectural fashion of the day was the arts and crafts movement. And we see in the fabric of this wonderful building the Romanesque arches and the coloured courses of bricks, the cream bricks and the dark brown bricks, which featured the architectural style and fashion of that time. The heritage lawn at the rear or north terrace is a beautiful place. It was the site of the former nurses' swimming pool. And this was a very important part of the life of the nurses. The pool was opened in 1958 at a total cost of £10,000. Many thousands of nurses know the Edith Cavill building as their home. They lived here, they served in the hospitals. Many of them uh, gave their professional lives for many, many years and they hold this building in special affection. Almost all my own professional life has been based on this Hurston Quarter. I first started as a lecturer in biochemistry in 1961 and served as a senior clinician at the Children's Hospital here on, the, on this site for more than five decades and knew this site and this building intimately. The building has been refurbished, rebuilt with great sensitivity, with heritage preservation of all its features and it remains as a very functional heritage memorial not only to 60 or more years of dedicated nursing service by nurses who gave much of their lives on this site, but also to the memorial to a most wonderful and brave nurse, Edith Cavill.